Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make the 3D Jadag Jadag in After Effects. So I have my clips here ready and I placed it just before the bits begin. I placed some markers on the timeline of the music's bits in the audio. We need to isolate the last frame of our clip. So hit Ctrl Shift D to split it, then freeze this frame by right clicking, then moving to time and select freeze frame. You can now adjust the length of the clip. Precompose this layer then duplicate it. For the top layer, we will mask out our character. Let me speed this up a bit and we'll come back when it's done. Now, set the two layers to 3D by clicking here. Then, add an null object and a camera. Set the null object to 3D and parent it to the camera. Duplicate the null a few times and parent them all like so. Before we start the animation, Let's change the Z position of the background layer to around 1000 and the scale to around 137 or to a value to make sure it fits back in frame. In the first null object, we'll animate the Y rotation and the position property. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and hit U on your keyboard to see the keyframes. From here on, things get a bit complex. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. For the Y rotation, we'll be alternating between the value negative 8 and 8, which will be placed at the marked points. You'll add a keyframe of value 0 between each of these keyframes that we had initially added. Select all the keyframes, then easy ease. Now we'll animate the Y position. Set the value to negative 100 at all the marked points. and to zero between these keyframes. Select the keyframes, easy ease, then edit your graph like this. In the next null object, we'll animate the X rotation, Z rotation and the scale. This will depend on the audio you used. For this one here, I animated these properties where the single bit hit. Set the X rotation keyframes like this, following the values 0 to 8, then 8 to 0, then 0 to 8. Animate the Z rotation like this. 0 to negative 9, then negative 9 to 0,
and finally 0 to 5. For the scale, animate it as follows 100 to 80, 80 to 100 and 100 to 80. When you are done, add the effect motion tile to the bottom layer and set the height and width around 400. In the third null object, adjust the scale from 100 to 8. This is to make sure the clip fits within the frame. We will now add the brightness and contrast effect. Add an adjustment layer by right clicking, then navigating to new, then select adjustment layer. Next, look up the effect brightness and contrast and add it. Then keyframe the brightness at around 50 at each bit. You can increase or reduce this value and uh, at zero between the bits. Select the keyframes and easy ease, then set your graph like this. Next, we will make the echo-like appearance. Make three duplicates of the mask layer, then set the positions and scales of the layers like this. Z position as 209 and the scale as 109, Z position as 500 and the scale as 125 and finally the Z position as 700 and the scale as 135. Duplicate the main mask layer two more times. For these two layers, rename one as right and the other one as left. We'll animate the exposition and the opacity. As for the rest, this is something that you should try and play around with to design the look of your edit. After you are done, in order to make sure you have a smooth clip, you can add the RSMB to your clip. Here is the final outcome. Thank you for checking out my tutorial. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe or let me know which tutorials you would like me to make. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.